Welcome to ABC Behavior Training, disseminating the science of ABA to everyday behavior analysts. If you're not already signed up to my weekly newsletters, you're already missing out on new products, free CEUs, and huge savings. Check it out at abcbehaviortx.com. And don't forget to check out the freebies mentioned in this video using the links below. Hi guys, this is Melissa Druskis with ABC Behavior Training, and today I want to do just a real brief video going over the different domains of behavior analysis. Today I'm going to be going over the four domains of behavior analysis, which include experimental analysis of behavior, or EAB, applied behavior analysis, or ABA, service delivery, which is ABA practice, and conceptual analysis. Experimental analysis of behavior is really where we all got started with Skinner and doing experiments in laboratories. So this is the scientific method for studying behavior. Uh, this science uses cumulative records, manipulation of variables, uh, automated recordings, um, and it is done in a laboratory setting with controlled conditions, um, often with animals like rats or pigeons. Uh, so you may see a lot of research with the experiment experimental analysis of behavior. Uh, and this is where they find out a lot of these principles that we use today in our ABA practice, such as reinforcement or differential reinforcement uh, or extinction. All of those things were derived from EAB. Now, one thing that is kind of confusing to people sometimes is when we're talking about this research, uh, we do not use any sort of statistical inferencing or anything like that. This is all single subject design. It is a natural science where we are just studying what is actually happening. And then we have Applied Behavior Analysis, or ABA. Uh, this one oftentimes gets confused with service delivery, which is different. Uh, this is applied research, though. So ABA is applied research. So you're taking those principles from experimental analysis of behavior to produce socially significant improvement in human behavior. Uh, so you're doing this with direct observation and measurement of the behavior in the environment, looking at functional relationships. And this is done in the natural environment though, not in a laboratory setting. So this is something that you could potentially be doing with your clients, but you're not doing ABA with all of your clients all the time because this is just the research portion of that. And then that brings us to ABA practice. So ABA practice is what we're doing with our clients on a daily basis. This is the service delivery. So we, this is the application of all of those principles and methods and procedures that were discovered in um, experimental analysis of behavior and then that applied research, the ABA research as well. So service delivery, this includes just a cycle of implementation, evaluation, designing and changing programs and then implementing those, evaluating it. So it's a constant cycle of using all of these procedures and methods that we have to make that socially significant change in our clients' lives. One of the big differences between ABA research and ABA practice is really what your intent is. So in both, we're looking at that socially significant change, but if you're doing ABA research, you might do a reversal design where you try one treatment and it appears to be working, but then you withdraw that treatment and then you re-implement it and withdraw it again. So you can look and actually see the effect that that treatment is having. So that's the research portion. If you're doing ABA therapy or ABA practice, you're not likely going to withdraw a treatment that is effective. So, you know, it there's ethics involved in that. It depends on what the behavior is that you're looking at changing. But when we're doing, you know, service delivery, that's when we're more so looking at what is that outcome instead of asking the question about, you know, what is happening. So that that's one of the differences between them if you're having a little bit of confusion as to what are the boundaries of ABA research uh, versus ABA service delivery. And then the final one that we have is conceptual analysis of behavior. So this is like the philosophy of our science. This is where you're looking at philosophical, theoretical, and other conceptual is issues. Uh, so this can also involve, you know, looking at the history of our field, uh, 
trying to come up with, you know, maybe new concepts for the future of our field. Uh, and it really does go throughout all the other domains. So it's not a domain that's just all separate by itself. It does have um, application to EAB, ABA research, and ABA practice. Um, but this does include as well developing new terms, um, new conceptualizations about our field, uh, like you know, RFT and ACT, like those things would have been done through conceptual analysis of behavior. So those are the four domains of behavior analysis. Again, that's experimental analysis of behavior, applied behavior analysis, which is the research, uh, ABA service delivery or practice, and then conceptual analysis of behavior. And then don't forget that all of this the thing that we're looking at throughout all of these domains is the use of radical behavior as well, uh, where we're looking at not just public events, but also private events and taking into account all things in the environment, uh, not just the things that are right there that our client is doing. So that is really the foundation of all the domains and that's something that's very important to keep in mind as well. So hopefully this helped you understand those different domains a little bit better. Uh, so thank you for sticking with me through this video and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media to get exclusive access and discounts available only to my followers. Now go out there and make a difference using ABA.